So we're talking inside Rider Vision. I am standing next to the guy that's got the microphone pretty much the entire game. He's very busy now as we're about to uh, drop the opening puck, but he, as you can see, he's very busy because this guy's got a big job to do, a lot of people to talk to. Evan, how are you, man? It's going pretty good. There's always a lot going on. We got a lot of things going on, especially for parents' night tonight. So, uh, you know, trying to communicate with the audio and then the owners and everything, they keep me busy up here. And this is a professional place, so we got to keep things going. It's a fun environment, though, so we're going to have a good time tonight. And you've got a huge script. You got to read all the names of the players, the parents, all the penalties. I mean, how do you do it, man? Uh, there's a few tough names out there, but I'd say the toughest part is probably where people come from. So uh, there's a few places from Rhode Island that are pretty tough, but right. yeah, we'll do all right. All right, folks, that's Evan. He is the announcer here at the stable. Now let's go meet some of the people that work inside the truck. I direct the, the show. Uh, from the trailer that sits out in the parking lot. In the trailer, I have monitors where I can see the five cameras, the different tape machines for the replays, all the graphics. I'm involved with directing the coaches show, or like we call Ryder Town USA Hockey. We shoot that uh, on the ice. We bring our cameras from around the concourse down to the ice, and we interview the coach, players, other people related to the, the Rough Rider hockey family. We produce, you know, a tape, live to tape show that is then taken back to the studio for editing. A lot of people at Metro Studios play a significant part in uh, the Rough Riders organization from our web department who maintains and develop their website to our video and audio people who shoot and edit videos for the web, TV commercials, coaches show, to our, our print people who design flyers, marketing pieces, ads, programs for the Rough Riders. So our, our entire company is involved with the Rough Riders. Working on the games, uh, we're involved with some very creative people, some very talented people from uh, Adam, our audio person who has a vast knowledge of hockey. He can see what's going on in the, in the game and, and knows what's gonna happen before it happens. We all get along, we have a great time for the common goal. We wanna put on a great show for the fans that have bought tickets to see the Rough Riders. During like the weekday, I'm like the video editor. I do the highlight reels. Then during the games, I guess my title would be called producer. I go through the script that we have and do the replays and I pull up the graphics, I pull up the text to screen. When the game is going on, I'm not actually inside the stable. I'm outside in the trailer. The one that has the big welcome to the stable sign. A lot of people don't think anybody's in there but usually there's three to four people in there. Um, that's where we see everything that happens inside. And then we have three camera operators who are inside, you know, running camera. The upgrades this year have been amazing. I went to a lot of games last year, but this year we got the screens. It's, it's good for the fans to get to see, you know, different angles of a game. They get high corner game, center ice game, and we have a lower camera, and then we have two high goal cameras. So these fans really get to see a bunch of different angles than where they just normally sit. The most recent video that I edited that's in the pregame is the Cool Rider video. We had the Rider girls in one night, and we shot them, you know, dancing, and then I, um, took the players, you know, headshots for the website. I took some other off, off ice um, photography and video and that we used on the website. Most recently I took um, the writer girl photography. And the interview process with all the players was very interesting and fun. I got to learn a lot about them and um, they all did really a really good job. We wanted to give the show kind of a grungy, hardcore hockey kind of a feel. 
I think goes along pretty well with the sport of hockey. Um, you know, it's a rough and tough, and um, I think the show and the graphics and everything that we developed really portrayed that feel using kind of the, the black and white um, and the grunge fonts and, and that sort of thing. The, the song Ladies and Gentlemen by Saliva, which uh, was kind of, I think, the, the theme song of the Rough Riders from the very beginning. The owner picked out that song as something that he really liked and he felt that the, the vibe in that song kind of portrayed uh, what he was going for. Um, so we use that as a, as a basis for the show, for the music. So Bob Benson listened to that song and, and kind of used that as his inspiration. So Off the Ice, hosted by James Larson, is an inside look at the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders when they're not playing hockey. It gives viewers an inside glimpse at these players and their personal lives and their personalities, um, what they're like when they're not in uniform on the rink. We also felt that it was important to not just focus on the USHL Rough Riders, but to encompass the whole Rough Riders organization and include the high school hockey team and the youth hockey organization, which most people probably don't realize is as expansive as it is with the Pee Wees and the, the junior hockey team and the youth hockey and the lady riders as well. So we tried to bring in coaches and players from those teams um, and have them on the show. The Facebook and Twitter accounts allowing fans to stay connected with the team on Facebook, those numbers keep growing and growing every day. If you follow the Rough Riders on Twitter, for example, you get live in-game updates. And then the email blast is another uh, connection tool that was just implemented this year. And if you're on that email list, you're getting those updates once a week or, or twice a month. So you always know what's going on in terms of promotions and game specials and what's happening with the team. So the Writer Vision video section is, is full of content, hours and hours of, of different kinds of videos. There's game highlights, there's full episodes of the coaches show. I think um, having the camera crews around basically 24 seven has been kind of a shock for the players and something that they haven't experienced in, in past years. They've almost become many celebrities in a sense. Um, the fact that we pretty much are videotaping everything that they do and those videos are available for people to see all over the internet and on broadcast television. And if any of these players are gonna go on to make it professionally, that's something that they would have to deal with on a daily basis. So it's definitely a learning tool in that perspective. Cut, that's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, we can help you sell just about anything to anyone. Metro Studios, one place, so many solutions.